three years ago, deep into lockdown, Royal Caribbean CEO thought of a brilliant idea. What if we take 700 people and lock them up on a boat for nine months? And thus, the Ultimate World Cruise was born. Hop on over to the Ultimate World Cruise, ladies and gentlemen. Visit 150 destinations and, one, and, and 11, 11 world wonders across seven continents and 60 countries. The Ultimate World Cruise features four distinct segments that traverse the globe in one incredible journey. Your once-in-a-lifetime journey begins in December 2023, embarking from in Miami on the first segment of the Ultimate World Cruise. Go from postcard-perfect Caribbean shores, including the ABC Islands, to viewing abundant wildlife like sea- Okay, you, you get it. It's a really, really long cruise. An insanely long cruise. <laughs> so this ship has embarked on its journey as recently as like a few days ago. And I've just kind of been incredibly fascinated with this whole uh, living situation. Nine months. The Royal Caribbean Ultimate World Cruise is nothing less than an epic once in a lifetime adventure. An epic once in a lifetime adventure. The actual details of the trip are a 274 night trip. It includes- I said that, I said that already. You don't need to repeat what I said already and 11 world wonders. The first perk is round trip business class airfare between your home location and Miami, Florida. That's a good deal. I mean, you're gonna see how much this costs in a bit. This is not cheap. But what I would do is I'd try to game the system. I'd um, say that I'm flying in from a really like far away place and then sell my ticket to someone else while well, I've been in Miami this entire time. Um, I. I hope that's legal, though. I don't know if that's legal. Once we are on board, all passengers have the deluxe beverage package for the entire voyage. We now, that's a bit, that's not a bit, that's incredibly dangerous. The deluxe drink package for the entire voyage? Does that mean free drinks? Are you getting free drinks, free alcohol for nine months of your life? People are gonna be f***ed up. People are gonna get wasted on this trip. This is gonna be a boat full of alcoholics. It's a really weird angle with the, the fact that you can see like my side angle as well, isn't it? On the mirror. I don't like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in a bit more so you don't see that. So I'm gonna just summarize what's, you want to. what this person is summarizing from the website. You don't have to go for the entire nine months. You can go on little segments, you can go for like I think bigger chunks like uh, like for a specific continent or something like that. So it's not like every single person that's on that boat has to be there for uh, the entire nine months. Now let's break down the prices. Here you go. Pause and read. Okay, I'm going to pause and read this. So the cheapest, the cheapest option available to be on this cruise for nine months is uh, 60k or $54,000 per person if you're paying in, in this thing in this way for this price you get an interior room with no way to look at the ocean you're stuck you're in a no window you're in a cupboard essentially <laughs> a cupboard that looks like a hotel room but still kind of a cupboard and then the price goes up per room my question is these 700 people that are gonna be on that ship you know, they're gonna be a community, essentially, right? They're like a like a little village or something. Is there gonna be a class system between uh, <laughs> all the different kind of rooms? Are people in the junior suite, are they gonna be like looking down on the poor, poor, below the poverty line people who are- who can only afford paying uh, $54,000? Are they going to be looking down on them? And listen, for 54k, it's not cheap at all. This is a lot of money. But if you really want to have the ability to get drunk for nine months in a row while visiting a lot of places, it's, it's a price, you know? So let's see some of the living situation in this cruise. Hello, MTV, and welcome to my crib. Come on. So I'm not seeing any windows. She's from the lower class. <laughs> on in. So she can only pay 60k. She can only pay 60k uh, dollars. So, you know. I'm gonna be in this cabin for nine months, so obviously I had to spruce it up so we won't look at the plain walls all the time. It's like a college dorm room. 
<laughs> you're paying for like a penthouse suite where you're getting a college dorm room on a boat so over here i'm creating custom nail for each of the pots so keep a lookout for that that's and cute that's very cute i approve that obviously as an interior cabin you know we had to bring the outside in so we did that. we had to bring the outside and we had to put some plastic flowers on the wall again i think that's cute we all going to Antarctica. So I had to bring my super luxurious fake fall coat along with me. About Antarctica, they're going to go there, right? Because they're going to every continent. But they're just going to, the boat is going to stop there. They're, they're not actually going to get off the boat. Which is probably a very good idea. I think uh, getting 700 boozed up tourists off a cruise ship and onto Antarctica. I think that's a bad, bad idea. I also created some of these custom yours. So just to... Brighten everything up. This is a sneak peek of what to come. It's not quite done yet. What? You can paint on the walls? Or did you like put like a piece of paper on that? Oh yes, extra large sofa. That way everyone can come visit us. So if you have one... People aren't going to visit you. I'm sorry to tell you. They're going to visit the 100k room. I want to see what's going on in that room. It's not bad by any means. If I was on a cruise ship for like five days, I'd be very chill with living in this kind of situation. Um, the main problem is that that's for nine months and you're paying that price. Now, one thing that is included with this cruise is the drink package. So after a really long day of unpack- Dangerous, dangerous. It's time for a break for me. Time for a break. You're on a break for nine months. <laughs> we then get our ticket to get into the gala tonight. And on the back, it says where we're eating, which I'll be eating beef. We are I'll be eating beef. <laughs> <laughs> that's depressing. There's something very depressing about holding a card that says beef on it. <laughs> I'm sure it's good food. I'm sure it's luxury food, you know, with all the money that these people are paying. Oh, that's copyrighted. That's Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I'm going to try and sing this from memory, though. Oh, hey, oh. Ba -ba -da -bee -bee. Come to the sea with me. Let's head out to sea. It's for you and for me. La ba de ba boopie. Come to the sea. All right, let's see what they got. So this is before they went on the cruise. They got this message from the CEO, the person who thought of this f***ing idea. Our ultimate world cruise is fast approaching, and we know you're getting ready for the upcoming nine months abroad. Jesus Christ, imagine packing for nine months. And then we have... Connect with countless distinct cultures. Soak up the most spectacular landscapes on Earth and marvel at world wonders. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> so I've been on a cruise before when I was like, uh, when I was like a teenager. And it was a lot of fun. But, uh, you can't say that you're experiencing the local culture really at all. I don't know how long these people are going to be in each place that they visit. But since there's all these people that are coming on the cruise for like a shorter kind of increment, you can sort of assume from that that the trip in every country is probably not that long. You're not soaking up a culture, you're like getting a whiff of a culture at the very best. I was like backpacking in India for about a month uh, last year. You're like a month. A month is a big amount of time. I got like a taste of like a specific area of the north of India during that time. And there was so much more to explore just in that area alone. To be clear, I did spend most of that time uh, in hospitals because of the several medical conditions that I had. I had stomach problems, I had an asthma attack, I had a lung infection. But that's neither here or there. Nine months to... to include every continent in the world you're not actually soaking up anything let's see how their day-to-day -day actually looks like kgk is exclusively for royal caribbean cruisers so that was pretty cool the island is pretty tiny but there's so much to do on the island as you can see because you're just on a theme park really <laughs> there's literally a water park on the island it was unfortunately a quite windy day so we didn't do the rides but it was still warm enough to get wow imagine if people get sick there's 700 people in a confined area in the middle of the ocean imagine if you get sick in one of the places that you visit and then you bring that on the boat imagine if you get pink eye Ooh we and guys there was literally food options on the island so you didn't yeah of course because they want to make money <laughs> the island is owned by Royal Caribbean. They're gonna sell you stuff. They're gonna sell you things. It's 10 out of 10. 
all the food I've had has been amazing. Well, they seem to really enjoy it. And you know what? I really do hope that these people have a very good time throughout the entirety of this. But this is just the beginning, right? This is the first place that they've been to. It's only been a few days. They're, they've currently been on the cruise ship for a pretty normal amount of like cruise time. A few days, five days is like a, that's like a cruise, isn't it? A week sometimes. I'm interested of what kind of culture would be developed on this ship when we're like two months deep, six months deep. How exhausted are these people gonna be by the end of the nine months? I started my day off at 6.30 a.m. in the fitness center. At 9 a.m. I attended a town hall meeting they have a town hall? Wow. They got a full on town hall. A town auditorium. What are you talking about? Group assignments? They're gonna have group assignments? Why? I'm not paying 60k to, to get assignments. I guess that's what people do in, in like college. <laughs> wow. I'd like to see what the town hall meetings are like. That's the stuff that I'm the most fascinated by. Like the really mundane day to day part of this sort of lifestyle. I mean, it's just like, I guess, plans of a different kind of vacationing that they're gonna be doing. I attended a town hall. That's beautiful. All meetings. <laughs> then up to the pool deck and the solarium. I mean, it is massive. It's a massive area to be in for that long. But also, it's a really like... At you're living a really artificial reality for a very long amount of time. The time we went to the wind jammer and enjoyed the views from the back of the ship. And uh, everything is like plastic. It's a plastic world. It's like you're on a sort of Truman show. Especially considering so many people on this boat are documenting every moment of this. They're like a self-documented reality show almost. And to deck five for Cafe Latitude and some entertainment. Just a guy with a guitar. <laughs> Is he locked up there? <laughs> Is he locked up on this boat for the whole the whole nine months? The guys to just keep playing the guitar. He he's like saving up his energy. He's only playing like one chord. Because he knows how many chords he's gonna have to play for the next nine months. We started the Ultimate World Cruise day two. He's already. Up. It's day two. You got so many more days on this boat. <laughs> Covering from day one. Oh no. Your, your liver is gonna be obliterated in like a month. Okay. Okay, so they're documenting the same day on, on this uh on this island. Perfect day. The last girl said that it was incredibly windy, so I don't know about that. The greenery of the Everything is fine in Ba Sing Se. Ba Sing Se is not incredibly windy. I'm making a joke on the quote from the show, but I don't remember what they actually say. Okay. I'll be working on it for two more days after today. And this guy's locked up on that island, which must be pretty fun, actually. I'd like to just work on a big sand sculpture for forever. And we topped off our evening with the acapella group Mosaic. Oh, no. No, no offense to the entertainers that are doing this, but like, now, if for nine months, the only entertainment that I can get is one guy playing the guitar in a a cappella group. Again, no offense to any a cappellas in 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 the comments right now, but I fucking hate a cappella. Hate is a strong word. I don't enjoy it. I don't hate it. If you're doing it, respect. You're doing an impressive thing. I just don't enjoy watching that. And if that's the only entertainment that I can get for that amount of time, I'd have to jump off the boat and swim swim to the, the island with the guy with the sand. I'd have to go and swim to Mr. Beast Island. That's my safe uh, haven. I made an ultimate world cruise bingo card for anyone else who is buckling in for this nine months TikTok reality show. Okay, let's see what's on this bingo card. Mass Norovirus, COVID outbreak, potentially, potentially, second one, potentially, minor mystery to solve. Yeah, I'd love it if like a shoe gets stolen or something like that. I don't like the, the virus ones or the STD ones. <laughs> There's a lot of cards about viral uh, things, infections. I don't want to prey on people's health like that. I mean, they're in a very small area that might happen. But that's a bit negative. I'm looking forward to the wedding that's gonna happen, potentially. Pirate takeover, 
I mean, I guess depending where they go around with the boat. I'm gonna be following this whole thing incredibly closely. I'm following every account that I can find that's talking about this goddamn cruise, specifically people that are on the actual cruise ship. I'm incredibly fascinated by this, and I don't know if there's like an interesting enough story to tell about this. You'll see it all on the main channel in like nine months when this is done. What do you guys think? Do you think that it, this would be fun? Is this something that you'd like to do? Would you like to be on this boat for nine months? I mean, it's certainly not torture, right? You're living in luxury for a pretty long amount of time in a college dorm room. <laughs> like and subscribe for unlimited alcohol forever. Forever. For life. For life. Forever. <laughs>